What up boys and welcome back to yet another emerald opening. So in this video we're going to open up right above a hundred of these emerald encrusted chests and uh, these chests are obtained by killing rare elites in blasted lands and they have a chance of dropping the flawless Dranatus Sapphire. Now the item itself sells for 500 gold so I could have sold these uh, boxes that I currently have on me for 50,000 gold. Last time when I did an opening, I could have sold them for 100,000 gold. So will I be able to get items worth 50,000 gold or more? Uh, or is this going to be a loss compared to just selling the quest items alone? Now, when you kill a, a rare elite, you don't necessarily have to get the flawless Dranus Sephir. Like, you can also get the green one, which is really bad in terms of transmog because uh they don't really give any like decent unique transmog items with a good value because they're just so easy to get and it's basic world drop uh green items uh, so before we open up these boxes uh the big thank you to every single one of you guys that has picked up a copy of the zero to 10 million gold guide if you haven't already make sure you use the discount code dragonflight and uh, you'll get the book for 50 percent off and the book is over 180 pages long with all of the best methods and tactics that i personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps and even better it comes with a lifetime of free updates so seeing as it is an ebook that will get sent to your uh, email as uh, like a pdf it's easy for me to update the book so whenever there is a new patch or a new expansion i update the book and i send that updated version to your mail for free for life so you can read more about it with link down below in the description now i'm going to pop up a ludipracer and it's just going to give us like a, a rough uh, estimate on the market value that comes out of these boxes uh but like most of the items are really bad like the, there's no denying that they are really bad and uh i used to open these up on like a low level tune that would scale the items to be like the perfect twink level and i could sell stuff like the soul keeper for uh 50,000 gold rather than the current 500 gold however the twinking meta is constantly changing and uh, right now, it's uh, everyone is just spamming like water dungeons, for instance. They don't buy these items anymore. So now we gotta get lucky on transmogs. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now they do have a hundred percent chance of uh, ooh rune mithril. That's not that bad. They have a hundred percent chance of giving you a blue item, and then they can also give you a blue item plus a green item or even an epic item so that's what's so good about these boxes uh the green ones they will give you 100 percent a green item with a small chance of getting a blue item uh, so you're not super interesting uh and it's like the same blue items that's in the the, the loot table uh like it's just a set of, uh, of blue items the loot table isn't massive though but there is some items being way better than others um where the best item, historically speaking, has always been uh, uh, the Chance Imperial Robe. That's where you made like the majority of your gold, if you actually managed to get a couple of those. Now, there's been some speculations, and I, I never really thought about it until uh, someone told me, but there's some speculations that the Chance Imperial has just mysteriously uh, been removed from the loot table out of these boxes. So if someone know if that's true or not, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Because I've done a couple of these openings now in a row without seeing the Chance Imperial. Now, it's RNG. So I always just figured I was really unlucky because I used to get them like uh, every now and then back in the days. But then there was a bunch of people on my live stream telling me they haven't seen one in a... Yeah. It, it, it's RNG. Because there we have one. It's only 20,000 gold right now. But it's uh, uh, it's an item that sells pretty well. So yeah, whoever you were in Twitch chat, newsflash, it's RNG. It's, uh, it's definitely in the boxes right now. And with the current price though, I'm going to need a couple of those. Which uh, by the looks of it, uh, I'm not going to get at all. But at least we got one. We only need... We only need... We need 50,000 gold, right? In order to um, 
break even rather than like just selling the quest items. So we got a market value of 229,000 gold. Now that is obviously not likely that we're going to actually be left with. So what we're going to do now is figure out what we want to keep and uh, what we're just going to vendor. So I'm just marking like these shitty items. If they're 100 gold, even if they are unique, uh, it's at the point where I don't want to sell them. I do want to sell these Abaster boots. God, that's so bad. 124 gold at the moment. I'm just going to have to uh, to mark it as trash, actually. Let's go through the list. See if there's anything else. 200 gold. That's too bad. 250. It's a unique item with a really good sell rate. It's such a bad value. But still, I've sold a ton of those. So I think we're going to keep it, actually. Winged Helm as well. Same thing with that one. Not really a great item, but uh, they always sell. Heiberg Helm is another one of those that just has a good sell rate. Same with this one, the Mugtoll Helmet. Look at the sell rate. It's really good, but it's 25 gold right now. It's uh, Maybe I'll just keep those and uh, post them later on when uh, hopefully the price has uh, gotten better. This one, oh, god damn, the price is still it's too, it's too low. Let's see, that's bad. Chance Imperial, definitely keeping that. No, 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 no. No. Mm, these are unique, but 100 gold. No, 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 no. And let's see. Is there anything I missed vendoring? You're seeing how, like, the items that I'm left with are just uh, decreasing drastically. Not that many items uh, left right now. So we have um, these uh, Heiberg helmets right here, keeping those. We're also keeping the Mug Tool helmets. Uh, we're keeping these uh, Hanso swords. They're only going for 700 gold each right now, in my realm, but it's still, I mean, it, it's worth to keep it. We've got the Blade of Titans only at 250 gold. Uh, but then again, you see, like this was me opening up 100 boxes. There's a lot of people opening up these. Luckily, the Watermonger is at 5,000 gold. Really good sell rate on that one. Always been doing really well. So that's, uh, luckily, 10,000 gold just in uh, the Watermongers. Double Soul Keeper, only 500 gold each. These bracers are really bad. What was I thinking? They even have shared appearances. Uh, the green items are not good, but these green items are unique. And they're, uh, I mean, this is like 2.5k gold in these. This one is 12,000 gold. And we have 10,000 gold in the Chance Imperial. So if we take a look at the uh, the bag appraiser that we got going on right here, right? And we set it to like the price of my realm, which would be the minimum buyout. We can see that in my bags right now, I have 48,692 gold. That's with the 161 of these, right? Which is valued at 3.8k gold so it will be more like 45,000 gold with the current price of my realm so yes it would have been better to uh to just vendor uh, or not vendor but sell the the quest items on the auctionals for some other sucker to buy him in attempt of uh, doing better than me on uh, the opening but in this case i definitely don't think it's the um uh, the opening itself that was the problem uh, but because if i take it on something like reach in market value average is going to bump up to 132,000 gold, right? Because the prices on my realm is insanely low. I play in a full pop and it's the realm probably with the most amount of uh, of transmog farmers and gold makers like myself. So if you did this on your average EU realm, it would probably profit with uh, the items that I managed to pick up. With that being said, though, that was pretty much it for uh, today's opening. If you guys got any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide. And if you already own the gold guide and you like it, you're definitely going to like the VIP Discord. VIP Discord comes with exclusive uh, content such as being able to watch my YouTube videos before anyone else. You also get exclusive gold making tips, investments, spreadsheets, and much more. But you can read more about that with a link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.